MathWorks makes it easy to run the MapReduce or Spark executables you have created in MATLAB compiler on Microsoft Azure HD Insight clusters. In order for the MATLAB executables to run in the cluster, MATLAB runtime must be installed on each node. Then, when the MapReduce or Spark job is submitted, the MATLAB function can execute on each of these nodes. I'll demonstrate how to set up your HD Insight cluster so that the MATLAB runtime is automatically installed on each node. You create your HD Insight cluster from the Microsoft Azure portal. And the first thing you do is to pick a custom configuration and give your cluster a name. Followed by choosing a subscription type. And in this case, we want to configure our cluster as a Hadoop cluster. Then we give our cluster a password. as well as a resource group to reside in. In this case, I'm going to choose an existing resource group that I already have and pick a location. Now, the next step, we will be asked for our storage options. You can create a new storage account or use an existing one. I'm going to pick an existing storage account I already have. And in the next page, uh, the list of applications we want to include is optional. So I'm going to skip over that. And in this page, I will be configuring the number of worker nodes that are required for my cluster. Because this is a demonstration, I'm going to choose just two worker nodes, but you will have to be able to size your own cluster for your needs. Step five is where we add the script action that will install the MATLAB runtime. So we're going to select that, submit new, and choose a custom script action. Now we're going to give this script action a name. Add runtime install as well as the path to our script and tell it to install on both head nodes and worker nodes. Now once we do that, we'll hit the select button and click next to go to our last and final step, which will give us a summary of all our choices as well as an estimated price. Now when I hit the create button, this is then going to provision my cluster for me. After about 20 minutes or so, your Hadoop cluster will be provisioned and ready to use. As you can see, it's provisioned for me with two head nodes and two worker nodes. I'm also able to view metrics of my cluster through Mambari, which will show me how my cluster is performing. Now, what I've done is I have gone ahead and logged in to the head node using an SSH client. I've also copied a MATLAB MapReduce application called Flight demo standalone onto the head node, it comes with a corresponding script that allows me to execute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this MapReduce application against a data file here in a blog called airline.csv, and we'll write the results of the MapReduce application back into the same blog. So let's go ahead and execute the MapReduce application. See over here, I'm going to run a script that calls Flight Demo Standalone. We're going to point it at the MATLAB runtime. Now, remember, in our setup earlier, we had set up a script, custom script action to copy the MATLAB runtime and install it on another node. I'm going to give it a data file. So, this is pointing at the airline.csv file over here. And then I'm going to tell it to write it out back as a result called airline result. So when I hit enter, this is going to go ahead and execute the map reduce application. Now this may take a while to execute as it runs through and does all the necessary processing. The map reduce job has finished executing and you can see the results here in the console as well as over in the blog. So if we refresh this, we should see that there is a folder called airline result that has the data uh, with the results in it. And with that, uh, we've, seen, we've seen how easy it is to set up, install a MATLAB runtime in an HD Insight cluster, as well as to run a MATLAB MapReduce application 